Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Collector's Domain. Joseph here bringing to you a review of Lego Hobbit series uh, An Unexpected Gathering. This is set number 79003 in the late 2012 early 2013 release of Lego The Hobbit. Now I gotta say this thing is amazing right off the bat. Uh, I really didn't think I was going to pick it up and like it but I thought heck I need a new house for my collection and uh, it's themed in The Hobbit so I thought that would be really cool and when I actually picked it up and built it I cannot say this did not do me wrong this was one of the best uh, Lego sets like ever it's just so awesome it's just so cute and uh, what you see here is not exactly what you're gonna get out of the box I got a couple sets out here this is just my little neat little display uh, so yeah let's take a look at the box first right here now this is the box that comes in it's a pretty big box it uh, comes with how many is that 652 pieces uh, an unexpected gathering set number 79003 ages 9 to 14 very large box uh, it retailed for $70 and let's see it comes with five minifigures you get Gandalf the Grey, Bilbo Baggins, um, Balin, Dwaylin, Bofa, Bomba. So you get all the. You, it looks like in the book, this is how they were named and this is how they were introduced. So that was cool because it's like, you know, very rhythmic with their names. And uh, it's very cool. So here's a nice box art. Definitely a box I'm going to keep. Um, put that to the side. But on the inside, you get four numbered bags. Don't, I didn't keep the bags, but they're four numbered. Uh, one to build the roof, one to build the base, one to build the insides, and one to build the perimeter. You get two books, two very nice thick books. And you got your item checklist on the inside, uh, product uh, offerings in the line. So that's two, they're both numbered, one, two. Now onto the set itself. Now that's it for the box. Now onto the set itself. Put Gandalf to the side over here. Let's start on the outside. Now all around this thing is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It is beautiful. It has variation of greens. Dark green, light green, and very light green. As you can see here, you can see the gradation. Um, it's not very subtle. It's pretty you know, clear that you have a bunch of different colored bricks. It's pretty cool. Let's start on the left side of the house. You get these port windows. It's pretty cool, just little round um, bricks. Get wind uh, flowers in the windowsill. Nice textured sloping tiles. You get a bunch of them. You know, make it look like he lives under the hill, which is where Bilbo Baggins lives. You haven't read the book? You should go read it. It's a very nice adventure book. Uh, you get a little basket over here that has carrots and apples, and uh, a little bush. So that's a really nice touch. Over here you get like a sort of stained glass effect window. Not really stained glass, but it's beautiful. Um, it's translucent plastic covered by black. Uh, a black grating that has this design on it, so that's really cool. More flowers, more flowers, green grass. Uh, these boards up here, these planks, are not actually printed. They are stickers that you have to apply yourself but they're very forgiving. You could remove it and reapply it without too much effort. You get two of them, one on each side. You get this little hinge door you could walk through. Now here I have Frodo from um, Gandalf Arrives and uh, I just put him in this set because you know it's the same house they use in all the movies in all the same stories just passed down through generations and here I have him just chatting up a storm with Bilbo this is the Bilbo you're going to get with the set. Um, it is exactly the same figure as um, Frodo from last year. Like It's the same overalls, just different color schemes, same faces, same exact hair, just different color, same back printing. It is the exact same figure. So I was sort of disappointed in that, but it's kind of alright because they're family, so I guess it's okay. Um, you get a little walkway over here from the door, which the door is really nice, I gotta say. It is printed. Here, let me get a light on that. Yep. 
See that? That's printed. Um, so that's really cool. Over you get a little lamp over the door post, a little lantern. Which does turn. That's nice. Uh, more port windows with a, uh, you know, cross styled window sills. Um, over here, you get another sticker over here. I really like this fence. It's pretty cool. It's something you would find in the countryside. Uh, you get a little carrot patch over here. That's cool. And then over here, this is just my modification. I, this was supposed to be on the inside. It's supposed to be a toolbox or a treasure chest. And I thought, with all the weapons and tools they gave you, I thought, why not and just throw it out in the garden? Like a little tool shed. A little pickaxe maybe he could use to tow the land, to plow the land. You get um, a couple of their weapons. I just threw them all in here. Um... Yeah, besides that, that's all I did. And then up top, we move from here. Oh yeah, there's a little bench too. You get a little sticker on that one too. Uh, I really like the way they did this bench. Too bad they can't sit on it because, you know, they don't have knees or leg articulation. So they just stand on their chairs. Um, a lot of arches going through. So it's really nice. Uh, to the other side. Pretty much a mirror image of the other, um, of the left side. No flowers though. I mean, you could. You could move stuff around. It's a Lego set. Do whatever you want. Now, if we move up to the top, the roof, here's all the sloped um, bricks, which is really nice. And they all have different textures. So it really looks like something you would find in nature. Here you get a couple. You get about, what, one, two, three, four, four, maybe, yeah, four of these brick tiles, orange brick tiles, which is really cool. It makes a little chimney. And it's got a little smokestack up there. That's really cool. You get these leaves you could just throw on top. Foliage. Up here, you get a little tree. A little mini tree. Now, Brick Queen was complaining that it was a little too small. But in my opinion, it's it suits the set just fine. If it was any bigger, I think it would be too big. But um, you can see I took some of the extra flowers and just threw them onto there. Just to add a little variety, you know. A little foliage and a little couple of cherries and grapes. That's cool. Um, that's it for the front, I guess. But for display, I just keep him here with my Gandalf arrives. Gandalf's pulling up in his steed to come say hello to Bilbo and Frodo. Like, nay, what's up, guys? Just rolling in. Um, and then on the flip side is where they all congregate. And this is the part of the book where they all the dwarves and Bilbo meet for the first time. To get inside, you just push this door open. There's no lock on it, but it does open up, and I'll show you on the inside. So let's swing it around. Now, here we go. On the inside, this is the inside scene. Um, ignore this cabinet. This is my Harry Potter apothecary table set. This is where the... Um, you know, let's just move it. This is where the toolbox should have gone. Now, what's really neat about this is you could remove the roof much like some of the other houses in the Lego series just pegs onto these eight studs four over there, four over there and it lets a lot of light into the room so you could appreciate a lot of the detail that was put into this set which is why this thing was so great um, now here this is the Bilbo that came with another set um, you know riddles of the dark or something this is the one with the golem set ten dollar set this is the photo you get with it I'll do a review of him later but the one you saw on the front was the one that came with it, with this set. Now over here, let's start on the left, you get a little, uh, three shelvings, three shelves. Uh, you get one that holds Sting, or any other weapon, uh, and you have space for more bottles down here or whatever, or letters. Over here, on the inside you can see the windows really well. You can see archways, this is a really nice architectural point, so that was really cool detail. Uh, on the inside, you can see it's inside. It's actually got like concrete on the walls, which is weird because in the story it's supposed to be dirt. But I'm glad they went with this more, um, you know, uh, more realistic kind of wall. Over here, you get a couple bottles. Nice little flooring space over here. Definitely add something like me. I just added the apothecary set. Over here, you actually in the back you have a little fireplace, which goes all the way up into the one on the roof. It's got a holds a frying pan. You could hold the other pot, um, a little stove. If both of would just move, you got a little fireplace with fire and a little grill to block the fire. So that's really neat. 
Over here in the other side, you get a quill and a stand. Here, let's take out the figures. This isn't the way I display my figures. Nice little dinner table. Bilbo comes in and he's like, what is going on? Why is there everybody in my room? So that's a really nice little um, display set I got going on here because it's just like what I imagined would happen in the book. And then over here I have the other Gandalf that came with the set, just chilling in the corner. He's the exact same that we got before million different times same exact Gandalf you don't want to see that now the new figures are let's see this guy what is he name his name is Dwaylin he is Dwaylin brother of Balin Dwaylin Balin this is Dwaylin he's he's the he's one of the they're all really individually unique and awesome looking like this guy's got tattoos on his head I'm sorry you can't really see that should have turned on autofocus or something. But he's got tattoos on the back of his head. Got this gnarly beard going on. Uh, he comes with, He's the one that's supposed to hold the Thor's hammer. Whatever this thing is. It's way bigger. It's like twice the size he is. He holds this hammer. It's really cool. He uses Gandalf's staff. And just throws on a couple gray bricks. He's standing on a chair actually. Um, he has a single hole for the peg that goes into his neck. So that's a little different. You know how usually we get two holes that plug over the same neck? No, this one's just one. Printing is really nice. He has some back printing too. Let me just put this down. He has back printing, similar to the front. Very cool. Put him to the side. The other figure you get is uh, Bofer. He's the chubby boy. He is awesome. He holds sausage and a pot as his weapon so that's very cool take these out of his hands and you can see he's actually a chubby character and it's all one piece it's all one headpiece so see this is the actual figure it even has printing on the bottom side so that's really really neat that they did that you can make him seem like he lost weight or you could just not include this piece which you see it's one piece he's got his braids going all along hair and the top knot where his bald spot is covers up the peg hole up top so that was neat this one has printing on the front this one has printing on the front so that's really cool there's back printing on this side too uh, which you could see this one you can't see so that's what I'm really impressed about now his face he has double sided face a smiling face actually they're like both exactly the same face both smiling exactly the same way so that's kind of a weird choice but just slips on over. He's even got a chin on this extra mantelpiece. So that's cool. That's Bofer. Um, this is what's his face? Oh no, sorry. This was Bomber. Fat guy's Bomber. His brother is Bofer. It's this guy. He's got a really cool headpiece. This is just something you could use for like someone in the winter time. Um, so yeah, this is a really unique piece. I like this one, this headpiece. Now him on Bofer, he's got you know generic face, mustache, sullen cheeks. He's got an angry face on the other side. His printing on the front, they're all really nice printings. This is more orange. It's got that shiny effect to it, and on the back. All dwarves, so they're really short. Put him over here. He carries his axe weapon, which is just a little pickaxe. Nothing special. Now, this is Balin. He's the old guy. He's got a cool headdress. It's like a yeti. This is really cool. I like this piece. He's got an old face, just like Gandalf. On this side, nice and calm, smiling. This side, angry old man. He's got like a reddish cape. He's got the nicest printing, I think. It's really shiny. And very formal. So that's cool. Same on the back side. All dwarves. So they look really neat together. I cannot imagine this set having or housing all 13 dwarves in here. That would be insane. So I'm, I'm definitely going to collect some of the other sets and try to get more of the dwarves because I know I just love the dwarves. There's 12 or 13 of them. I cannot imagine putting all of them in here. It would be way too hectic. Maybe if I got two sets of this 
and combined them and made a bigger area then it would make sense but uh... now that we got them out of the way let's take a look on the inside and uh... you can see there's actually a bunch of chairs that all of the dwarves and hobbits can stand on not sit but stand on you got a little barrel with an apple in here it's cool let's take a look at all the details now that they're all out of the way you get a couple maps uh... you get one of the Shire, one of Mordor, I think, and one of Mirkwood Forest. So you get three maps, which is cool, just peg on there. Give it to give it depth. You get a little pathway up here. You get chairs. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six actually. You get six chairs. Two on the back side. And uh you get these neat little yellow plates, then uh two of them, and you get um, two of each colored grapes. You get a little pretzel that you saw in series seven, I think, seven or eight of the minifigs from the Pretzel Boy. You get two goblets, nice, two bottles, um, two chicken legs. It's pretty cool. I mean, they don't peg anywhere, they just sit there, so it's a very fi uh, finicky set to move around because you got all these loose parts. Now, back over here, you can see the stove much better very neat you get little coals going burning down there a little grill to protect you um, over here in the corner which would have been awesome to see a light brick put right here and illuminate this corner of the room just because it would look so much cooler uh, that's one suggestion that I would have preferred to have seen in this set uh, you get little Bilbo's diary which actually has stickers put onto it well you have to put it on yourself it's not printed on but it is custom so it says BB for Bilbo Baggins. It's really hard to get in here, as you can see. But this part is on articulated joints, so that's cool. See, on the inside, you can see the translucent plastic that makes up the window on the other side. Now, here's the book. Oh, you really can't see that. Well, it says BB down there in silver printing. And over here, just a nice red paperback. So that's cool. It's a typical book, though. Um, over here, you get the little mantelpiece where Frodo was supposed to find the letter about his adventures. That's where Gandalf left it. You get two, three more shelves back over there. And uh, that's it. You get more archways, which is really nice. Just looks, overall, just looks fantastic. Now, you see the door over here. There's a little knob. Opens up. Just like that no locking mechanism would have been nice to see one just for play value uh... and then you get a broom over here which comes off which comes off right there nice little black broom nothing special um... yeah that's about it for the set I mean, it just looks fantastic just like that that's great that's a hobbit hole You could set up your your scenes just like the way I did, or whatever you want. Uh, you know where Thorin is supposed to be singing his song. He stands over here, yeah, do, 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 do. something like that. The misty mountains of Markwood Forest, all that stuff. Cannot wait for the movie. So we'll see how that plays out. I'll be getting more sets. I'll be doing more reviews. Uh, I'm definitely liking what I see. I have two sets so far: this one and the Gollum set. Um, I also forgot to mention, you get this baguette, which is cool. They could hold it in their hands. Just clip it on to back there. You could use it as a sword or something. So that's really cool. It doesn't peg anywhere. can't peg anywhere. It just sits there on the table. Um, yeah, that's it about that's about it for this set. It's, um, it is pricey, $70. But, and it is a small house, sort of. But it is the Shire. And it is beautiful for what it is cannot complain uh, it's a very fun build and I cannot wait to get some of the other sets like attack of the wargs oops just knocked over one of the arches Ooh. arch just pegs on right there just sits on there just like that absolutely beautiful set and uh, you get Oops, not that. You get all this. You get uh, for not him. You get this Frodo, um, Bilbo. 
you get six minifigures that's intense uh, so yeah just these guys alone is really cool well not really Gandalf too many Gandalfs these guys are really cool um, yeah just put that on your shelf it looks amazing definitely has a lot of play value very peaceful feel to it and it feels complete doesn't feel like much is missing and uh, I could not recommend this uh, anymore it's definitely one of the best picks of 2012 for Lego sets and I cannot wait to see what else they bring out I hope you guys like my review if you like what you see like comment subscribe take care and peace out